KCHW 102.7. There's Imagine Dragons on top of the world. Takes us to 816 this morning. A uh, drop in from a special guest from Park Avenue Players, Sherry Freeman. <laughs> Oh, I'll turn on your microphone. That might help. <laughs> Thank you, Scott. You're welcome. You're welcome. Thanks for coming in this morning. We had talked about you dropping by, but we never set a date, so I'm glad you just pop in because we like that, too. So. Oh, good. Well, you know, actors, we're all just, you know, real improv people. Yep. <laughs> yep. So you got a big play coming up for Park Avenue Players, and you are the director. I am the director for right. this particular play. This is Dying to be Fit by Liz Riley. All right. So, so I want to know a little bit of the history, like the because this is a, Liz wrote several plays, right? Yes. Okay, and I uh, um, wasn't around uh, for for the first time. So, what year was this originally performed? And maybe are there are there any changes in it? Well, it was originally done in two thousand five, and to be real honest, I didn't see it in two thousand five. So I. It wasn't there to see if we made any changes, okay. so I just did my own vision for the play. Um, there are several people in the cast who were in it in 2005, but they're playing different parts oh, interesting. than they did in 2005. Yeah, interesting. yeah. Interesting. so it's, it's fun for them, too, because it's, it's totally new that way, right. and we're having a lot of fun. Liz Riley, most of the time, wrote melodramas, and they, were, they took place, you know, back in the beginnings of... Chihuahua. This play is modern <laughs> times. Okay. And so it's really different from one of Liz's plays. And it, it takes place in an old Victorian mansion that's been turned into a health spa. Oh, fun. And then we proceed to kill people off. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> so that is the, the premise of the movie, Dying to be Fit. Right? That's the premise, uh, yeah. Right. You're killing yeah, so. people off at a health spa. Killing people off at a health spa. Arsenic right. and old lace reborn yeah. with a twist. So, so uh, what, can you give us just a couple of teases of some of your maybe like uh, uh, favorite scenes without giving them totally away? Well, let's say that um, Julia Childless uh, is a very interesting <laughs> character in this play. Okay. Uh, this is one of those plays that Liz changed all the names to protect the guilty. Uh, so we have Julia Childless, we have Hugh Mungus, we have Rhoda. Who was in chuil has Got Talent, by the way. Yes. Yeah, so. <laughs> we have Rhoda Reuter. Um, <laughs> you got to love Liz yeah, terms. Oh, wow. We have Howie Feels. Uh, we have, the, the lead part is Titus Can Be. Oh. <laughs> But to to really tell you who we kill, you're going to have to come to the play and see. All right. I think I'm going to steal that one for my new radio name, How He Feels. <laughs> uh, uh, no. 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 Okay. All right. So uh, when does the show open uh, this weekend? Tell us about this that. This show opens on Friday night is opening night, and that is uh, our special night for school district employees. Okay. Now, anybody who works for the school district, so that would be the the teachers, the the mechanical engineers, the cooks, all those folks get 50% off on their tickets. For, for opening night. So right. their tickets will only be $5. We wow. want to appreciate our, mm-hmm. our local people who work for our community. Uh, Saturday night is our dinner theater. Mm-hmm. And the dinner theater tickets need to be purchased by about 3 o'clock this afternoon because we have to have a head count to, so we know how many people we're feeding. So if you want to be in the dinner theater part, you have to have your tickets today. You have to have your tickets today. If you don't, you're just out of luck. You can still come to the show, <laughs> but you're not going to be fed. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. So the, the dinner theater starts at 6. The performance starts at 7. All right. So then uh, any shows on Sunday? And then Sunday afternoon we have our matinee. So okay. our matinee is at 2. And, uh, and tickets are available for, at the door for all performances except the dinner. Okay. Yeah. Now, isn't Sharon Ludwig in this oh, one as well? Yes. That Sharon is, is Helen Highwater. And, <laughs> and Gino <laughs> is Ups and Downs. Ups and Downs. <laughs> now, I, I, I just got a, a brief thing uh, when Sharon said something about she's playing a nurse yes. on Valium. Uh, heavily sedated <laughs> on Valium. Wow. All right, I gotta see this. <laughs> you know, it's, when she told me that, I was like, "Oh my goodness, this is gonna be fun!" <laughs> now you're running it through the 31st, so the following yes. weekend uh, uh, it shows a, Friday, yeah. Saturday, and Sunday afternoon Again. also. Again. All yes, right. all right, and yes. no dinner theater the next Saturday. No so dinner. This theater. is this Saturday night only chance only, to catch the yes. dinner theater. Um, we have a wonderful thing going on 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 this Saturday with the. Um, 
chokes and spokes car show in the park. Okay. And so we put this dinner on especially for them. Uh, it's for the whole community, but they always come. They It's kind of a little like their banquet in, in some respects. So they, they show all their cars and have a good time, and then they come to dinner and in, in theater. All right. All right. Well, which is great for you, too. It's going to cheat audience. Absolutely. Yep. All right. So now I got a question kind of off, tra- off track a little bit, but uh, – um, the relationship now, uh, Park Avenue Player is not actually tied to PACA, just kind of supported by PACA? Correct. We're yeah. actually, P- Park Avenue Players is still umbrellaed under Community Celebrations, okay. which was where it was originally when Liz Riley first formed the group. Um, and PACA is primarily interested in the building itself. Now, of course, we will use the building, but we're not actually a part of PACA per se. Okay. I bet you're excited for the new theater. Oh, we are so excited. <laughs> you know, the Civic Center has really done as well for a lot of years, but it's hard. It's, it's a facility that is used by lots of different groups. And when you're doing a play, you've got a set up on the stage that you just can't tear down. You know, it's, it's there for the duration. We can only be in there a few days before we open because other groups are using the, the facility, so we can't be in there with the set. Uh, and even as it is, we have to take everything and push everything back from the set so that it can be used by other groups. And uh, it just makes it hard if we had a facility of our own, then we can set up our sets and be there. Yeah, and and they've they've done what they can with the room, and and we've lucky to, you know all the groups that use it, including the radio station. We've lo- been lucky to have it, but it is what it is. It is a gym, and I remember a couple of comments of uh, from people at the talent show were like, you know, they 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 sounded better during the tryouts, and I said. Yeah, it's the Civic Center. It's the it's horrible acoustics, yeah. you know. Correct. And, and it doesn't do, especially with something where there's singing going on and stuff. It, it just doesn't do it justice. You know? It's it's very hard. Some some actors have great voices and can can get their voice clear across to the back of the room, and other actors just yeah. can't do that. They yeah. just don't have the timbre well, in their well, voice. Like like George Eberth. You, he can be in the Civic Center doing a play, and you can hear him in Colville. <laughs> 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 but no, he's got he's got that. Pro- that's why I always bug him. Say, George, you should be on the radio because you've got that projection voice. Oh, he so. does. Yeah, he, he does. does. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, uh, anything back to the play? Uh, anything else? Where do people get tickets? Uh, the ticket outlets in Chewila are the Independent, uh, the, in both drugstores, Acres and Valley Drug. Okay. So get your dinner tickets for Saturday night. Yes. Yeah. It them now because you're going to have a crowd <laughs> we certainly right. hope so all right anything else about the play uh just lots of fun lots of mayhem come see your your favorite characters your chihuahua people we actually have two callville people in the show too so come out and enjoy local theater there's nothing that is more fun and who are your uh, callville people emma romo and bob simone and emma plays amelia did it and he did it. <laughs> it's not a clue. <laughs> and uh, Bob plays Seymour Gore, the right. mystery writer. <laughs> now, he does a lot with Park Avenue players, and he's an he attorney does. from Colville. He so. is. Right, yes, right. he is. And Emma does a lot up at uh, Woodlands. She, she has actually directed some shows. She directed uh, Barefoot in the Park last year and is a wonderful actress. Both Bob and Emma like to do plays more than musicals, and Woodlands only does one play a year. You know, they do a big musical, and they do one play in the fall. So this gives them opportunity to do more plays. All right. Now, you've been involved in the past with Woodlands yourself, haven't you? Oh, yes. I love Woodlands. Yes. Yes. All right. So what kind of shows have you done there? Some of the plays. I know you've directed a couple. My first show that I directed there was Guys and Dolls, and I did Oliver and Paint Your Wagon, and Hello, Dolly. Those were the four big musicals that I've directed up there. I love Hello, Dolly. Yeah, it's a wonderful <laughs> show. And then I, I play in the, now it's a band. We used to have an orchestra, but now we have a band up there. And I, I play flute and piccolo in the band. And, right. and I love playing in the pit orchestra for the musicals. If I'm not up on stage, I'll, you'll see me in the pit. Look at you, the multi-talented <laughs> Sherry Freeman from Park <laughs> Avenue Players. All right. Sherry, thank you so much for coming in and sharing Thanks. with us. Did we miss anything? Nope. Thanks for having me. All Come right. out and support your local theater that's right dying to be fit opening this friday night show's time is seven o'clock seven o'clock dinner theater on saturday and that's six o'clock correct correct all right get out and support your local theater group park avenue players it's kchw odd news right around the corner and here comes elo